One of the reasons that I found myself developing so fast and I'm already where I'm at in terms of wisdom at the age of 22 is simply because I always went into life and into different things that I projects that I went for with the attitude of do or die it has to work I'm willing to to die quote unquote if if it fails the first ever crazy like financial thing I did was at age 18 where I was really interested in learning how to be better in dating women and I took three thousand dollars which was pretty much all my life savings and was meant for college at university and I invested it onto this uh, dating coach that got to Israel for a weekend uh, just to, 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 to again spend the weekend with him and learn more about success with women because I had faith that he's gonna help me and change my life see I was already willing to risk at this young age um, what people consider precious and needs that needs to be kept uh, for the sake of learning and being better um, the risks got bolder and bigger um, at some point uh, when I met a coach who taught who said he'll teach me how to make a lot of money online I actually took a loan a $20,000 loan I paid this guy four thousand dollars and then I took another four thousand dollars and I moved to live I think it was six thousand actually I'm just converting it from uh, Israeli currency to uh, two dollars and I actually moved to live in a hotel on the beach because I said okay if I commit to being in this hotel it will basically force me to uh, to make it happen because it's either I make it happen and I start making a lot of money or I'm going to fail and then I'm going to be in, in debt with a loan of about ten fifteen thousand dollars at age uh, 20 when my biggest salary was 20 I think it was two thousand dollars up to that point so I was always willing to, to, to take these risks and again there's many more and much bigger ones by the way <laughs> much much bigger risk like the biggest risk I ever took was over a hundred thousand um, dollars so again whenever I did them uh, they usually worked and the reason they worked is because it's called burning the boats in uh, you know as if, based on the myth or or actual story I haven't really researched it that uh, when the Roman soldiers uh, came with their boats to attack or was it Spartans? I'm sorry for not being uh, historically correct. Um, they came to attack uh, and take over uh, an island or, or a land. They would burn the boats so that this way there's no way of turning back. And now, if they want to build the new boat, they have to pi uh, they have to pillage uh, the place where they're attacking and get new boats. So it's either do, it's either win or die. So I was always like that. I always took risks uh, growing risks that every time it looked like potential death for me if I failed and I was willing to do that because I believed in my ideas and I did it from such a young age that I actually developed the habit now eventually I thought that I'm invincible and that there's no way to fail because if you just set like a do or die target you're you're bound to win you know because you're gonna have that mentality I have no that you have no choice but uh, I found out to the contrary uh, having the biggest failure of my life which I talk extensively about in my new book that's gonna come out soon and what happens is when you fail in these do or die missions it's not like the army you don't actually die but it's sort of like spiritual spiritual death because you, you've what happens when you in a do or die situation it's like the worst thing you could have ever imagined the same thing that, that was so bad that it kept you from losing uh, actually happens and so if you live through that you come out uh, extremely uh, either bitter like I'll never do that again I hate life and just bomb down to mediocrity or you come out so smart and so full of understandings about life because 
just imagine the energy you need to get out of a situation like that where the whole world is upside down and everything is with its weight on you you come out with such energy that you become a 10 times stronger person it's like imagine a, a, a kid that spent his life getting the shit beat out beat out of him and, and having to feed himself and make money on his own and having no father or no mother again this kid would there's a high chance that he'll grow up very mentally scarred psychologically scarred and fucked up and have a shit life but if he survived if he actually managed to pull himself out of this situation on his own and and and, and live you you actually get somebody who um is uh like like a stronger person than anybody else like he he's there's nobody can compete with him because the amount of shit that he endured he can take on anything now and again that's sort of how I feel to to a large extent of course not fully but um, that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't always so willing to risk everything so Whatever it is for you that you want, whether it be, it be you know, growth in your business, to start a business, uh, maybe you want to be famous, maybe there's a place you want to move to, maybe you want to move to LA, maybe uh, you want a certain girlfriend or a boyfriend. Look, if you're not willing to risk it, and really, I'm not, I'm not a brave guy. It's going to sound funny, but I'm not a brave guy. I consider myself a, a pretty timid guy. I, I don't usually take risks. I don't take risks on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm actually very conservative. But I am willing to take the big risks. So, you know, when I see that, that one situation, not just the many small opportunities, you know, oh, you see that girl, that's beautiful. No, so I, 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 I probably won't approach her because I'll be scared. Or there's this tiny opportunity, you know, somebody threw something on the ground and you have an opportunity to say hey don't do that you know I, I'm very timid in these situations I'm, I'm a timid guy but give me like a major decision like look man uh, you could keep growing steadily and have this cool very steady life or you could take this huge risk risk being losing more money than you ever made in a matter of a month or two uh, but but if this works out, if this actually works out, you'll make history. What do you say? I'll say yes. I'd probably say, let me think about it. Take a, a few hours, maybe a day, maybe two days, three days. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, even after failing on do or die missions, I can tell you, shit, man, it was worth it. It was worth every bit of it because I got 10 years of wisdom in three year in three months of torment so you know would you be willing to have the three mo worst months of your life where you consider suicide and everything is so bad like you don't see an end to it for the potential prize of 10 years of wisdom I would so really it's a matter of shortening uh, life your life uh, let's call it the the time it takes to create experiences in your life most people take 50 60 years 70 years uh, like as steady slow investors just to um, you know retire at 50 60 with not even enough like you want to be the guy who is willing to go broke to get rich in three years I mean if you're my kind of guy or girl. Uh, I hope this makes sense. I hope you like the video. Um, I have two more for today. Uh, I'm getting very emotional um, in my content lately. I, like I'm speaking more and more from the heart, kind of, who I am. And that's really nice for me. Like I really love that. And uh, I'm also getting smarter every day since um, I'm working with more clients, I'm growing more, I'm reading more, I'm learning more, I'm experiencing more, so uh, it's, I'm on a good cycle after a long time. And uh, I'm really happy about it, so thanks for watching. And um, see you soon.